but I'm the only one who can do that job. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking of MaximumLawyer.com and the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Today we're talking about situations where law firm owners believe that they're the only ones who can do a task. They think that no one can do it as well as I can. They have a problem of what we call terminal uniqueness. They think that they and they alone can do every single task in the office. And where's this coming from, Jim? Well, the last week I've had a couple interesting conversations. One with one of our member Maximum Lawyers uh, who owns a law firm and believes that they are the only one who can do almost every single job. I spent about a half hour on the phone with them listening to all the things that they were doing and unsum- unsubscri- unsurprisingly, excuse me, they are suffering from burnout. And when we talk about burnout, uh, that is something that many lawyers, both in and outside the maximum lawyer community, suffer from. And one of the reasons is because we don't let things go. And I offered many suggestions on how to get phone help, how to get paralegal help, how to get law student help, how to get law clerk help, and how to get help with billing. And every single time I talked to this person, they came back with me to me with a excuse or a reason why that wouldn't work. And if you stopped to listen to the overall answers that I was getting, every one of them was pushback. And, and people build this box for themselves. They build this box of burnout. And they do it uh, to themselves. And they do it by choice. They might think they don't have a choice. They might think they're not making enough money. But the great thing is we have these things up here. They're called brains, and they let us think up hacks or tips or ways to uh, do things better, to let things go. And it's a real trap to think that only you can do things. I can't tell you how many times lawyers in our group have said to me, Jim, I need to clone myself. And I'm sure that if you go back in old episodes of the podcast that I myself talked about wanting to clone myself, and that is the great trap for entrepreneurial lawyers, lawyers in maximum lawyer who think that they can do the job better than anyone else. And maybe the question to ask yourself is maybe 85% is good enough. Maybe I don't need to be doing everything. Maybe if I find someone to do my bookkeeping, that's going to free me up to do more marketing. And then I'm going to be able to uh, afford to pay for that bookkeeping. And as we talked about on a recent episode of the podcast, that's a real opportunity. That That's real leverage. That's when you um, can get other people doing work for you and free you up to do the things, one, that you like to do the most, and two, that make you the most money. And so when I had this conversation with this lawyer, and then again with my friend when we went out to lunch, he owns a tax preparation and bookkeeping service. Again, there was all this pushback and all this negativity and all this, no, that'll never work. That won't work for me. I'm different. I'm unique. Only I can do that. And it's a real trap, and it's a real problem within our community. And I think that you really need to spend some time learning about the resources that are out there. There's so many great um, online services where you can work virtually with people that it really makes no sense for you to put yourself in that box. And so when I have these conversations with people, my job is to try to get them out of the box, to give them a little bit of maneuverability, to give them some space. And so just getting one little win, one little uh, assignment to law clerk or Uh, finding a law student to work for them, or just having someone else come in and sort the mail. These are the kinds of things that there's no reason why someone with a law degree who's running a law firm needs to be doing these things. So ask yourself today, what can I let go of? What can I do differently? What can I stop doing? And I think it'll really help improve your outlook and hopefully give you some of that space to get out of the the box of burnout that you've created for yourself. So If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be adding more content here on a regular basis. Um, Find us on our podcast, uh, Maximum Lawyer, and then, of course, join us in our Facebook group where there's an ongoing discussion with hundreds and hundreds of members. It's sort of taken on a life of its own, and we'd love to have you in there with us. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.